I'm playing I'm playing this character, and it's working out very well for him. It's all about the results. Yeah, I think uh, everybody in Smash kind of feared that. Like, man, he's so good with every character he picks up. But what happens if this young this young man, he's way younger than us, what happens if this young man picks up Bayonetta? Can he take over the world? There we go. I mean, he took over Ven. I didn't even get a chance to talk about him, man. Like, Zelda just disappeared. Yeah, I'm talking like got drug and clicked to the recycling bin real quick, but then puts the, not even the hill. She has boots on in this game, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Uh, Almost felt like we were playing an RPG there for a second, you know, but that was Tweak's first turn, now it was Venn's. Okay. Good stuff. Tries. Oh, a little bit of platform pressure. Never hurt anybody. After Burner Kid. We're going to the top. You better call no Link. You way. better call Link. What are you doing? That was 36 seconds. That stock certainly got speed ramp, but that's okay, Aussie. That's what game number two is for. Hopefully, he can try to recollect himself. I mean, come on. This is Tweak we're talking about, for God's sakes. Like, I, I wanted to talk about how it was such a good option for Ven to just go for that shield drop, then jump back up with that back air just to poke, try to get that shield poke. Because both Zelda's forward air and back air have like, that sweet spot on, the, on, on her pinky toe. Right, but right. But it just it, did, it, did, <laughs> it didn't even matter. It, you know, it mattered not at that point. But, you know, one thing I really want to talk about with, with Zelda and just what she kind of brings to this matchup, she has a very strong combo game. Game, but it started out from a lot of grabs. Her grab game is really, really good at low percents and at various high percents as well. Now, that could be something I could kind of get underneath Bandit's skin. The history shows she's looking for characters like Little Mac with these really crazy hitboxes to come out so she can witch time. But what happens if you grab the Umbra Witch? We'll see what happens here on Battlefield. Right after that, you see Tweak opening him up with a forward tilt, sends him off stage. Can't really apply too much pressure against Bayonetta once she's off there because her recovery is just really good. You just gotta kind of respect it. Go, just try to go for, like, catch her ledge options instead. Yeah, definitely gotta put some respect on Bayonetta's name, that's for sure. Okay, uh-oh. Okay, down tilt. First hit of forward air. Obviously tried and true Bayonetta combos. We're not looking at anything too crazy here to kick off this match, but there's a pivot grab, down throw, back air. Good stuff coming from Ven. You know, Tweak's playing super patient, just waiting down on his shield. Waits for Ven to throw an attack before him trying to react. Mm. He'll throw out that Phantom Knight. Oh, oh Catches my. the roll with the sweet spot back here. Throwing a Phantom Knight out there for good measure. Tries to go off deep for that down air. Oh, my goodness. And, you know, that's that, that's just what makes Zelda so great on this stage. Her utilization, her combo game. But, you know, the fact that she has these platforms here for good measure makes the task at hand that much easier. Oh, and the, oh, that he that tried to... so sneaky. He actually did the teleport onto the platform, fell off of it really quick with a forward air, trying to catch Tweak off guard, but he did not fall for it. I let Tweak know I got a little bit of wonkiness to my character as well. Ooh. Down tilt, up air, let's go. Setting him up with that down tilt, just like you said, Rod. Then putting the first blood against Tweak. Yeah, first one to put the point on the board for himself here, but obviously we have a lot more match to get underway with. There's the back air, tries to use the bullet climax, to obviously to keep him off stage, but it's a recovering low that time. I like that usage there of the drift. You know, Tweak just mimicking Ben, right? Just opened him up again with the down tilt, back air. Yep. Got him. So anything you can do, I can probably do better. I've heard that song before. Right. <laughs> Not up here though, I love you, man, but anyway. <laughs> There's a down throw again. Oh, and then a good attack option gets up immediately. Good adaptation there on the fly, as we've seen in the last uh, the last stock. You know, that's put a lot of damage on the board here. You know, those next trying to go for a lot of shield grabs here. Ben just going for the neutral B in order to just try to stuff out all those options. What's her teleport? He was he was exposed there for a second. Nice. Oh, did, did you see the? Did you see the? She knew. She knew. <laughs> she did a little pray because she needs to pray for what's about to happen to him because oh, of this oh switch time. Oh, no. Okay. Good. SDI gets back to center stage immediately. Not even want to go back up there on those top platforms and try to punish her landing options. Obviously, you're going to run the risk of getting caught into another witch time. And at this percent, you're definitely knocking on death's door. And I, but, said it, I said it once, I said it again, Rod. You know, the Bayonetta wants that second witch twist so bad. And right. Ben is doing a phenomenal job of just escaping it every single time. Mm -hmm. Hitting with the hitbox, the tweak, trying to open him up with that forward air. Forward airs can lead to afterburner kicks. Oh, up air from up underneath. I don't care about that forward smash set, Ben. Yo, spike oh. me to the ground? You know, fun fact, that dare spikes no matter what, so she's definitely going to have to play a little bit more safe here. Okay. Hangs out on the ledge. Can't hang for too long. We've seen that. Oh, don't even think about... Oh, did he just try to blow him up out there? Yo, he was calling to the gods of Din to just throw out that fire. Please, let that land. Okay. Then we get the down tilt from Tweak, and he actually manages to cut it out with the second up there. Tweak taking it with a 2-0 victory. That first game looked so dominating, but then Ben started to bring it back in that second game. Just wasn't enough. Congrats to Phoenix one tweak. Yeah, Moving I, on in the bracket. I